everyone welcome to the video so i figured i would do like a couple days in my life like not a week not a weekend just a few days where i have a bunch of things going on so you can kind of get a good like college look because it's not like crazy busy it's just like there's a lot of serious college things going on you know what i mean today is sunday sunday morning november 10th so i think i'm gonna vlog today tomorrow and tuesday that's what i'm thinking we'll see how it goes if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel i post every saturday except recently it's kind of not been every saturday because i haven't been able to get videos up on saturday because i've been filming them that week and then by the time i like finish editing it and everything so it's more like wednesdays tuesday but yeah subscribe to my channel nonetheless i do post every week so yeah let's get started like i said it is sunday morning today is a fashion event called the brunch every fall the fashion program puts on an event called the brunch and it's for like upperclassmen only i think it's like sophomore juniors and seniors and it's at a mansion people from the fashion industry like talk and it's like this whole thing i don't know what to expect to be honest like i've never been but i'm really excited i just did my makeup as you can hopefully tell i'm gonna get dressed i'm pretty sure i already know what i'm wearing tomorrow is class registration for next semester so i'll take time to talk about that tuesday i have my final presentation for retailing class which i just am really nervous about yeah so i'll talk to you guys about that and then also in my last video aaron shout out aaron ingles requested that i talk about what i was working on in my digital fashion design class so i figured i'd show you guys some things that i've done in my digital fashion design and like talk about the class a little more so yeah there's a bunch of things i want to do in this vlog so stay tuned i've been talking for too long i'm gonna go get dressed and i'll see you in a minute hello okay so i'm ready this is the fit i mentioned if you guys saw my last vlog i wanted to wear this like last week but i didn't and now is my chance i was like this is the perfect opportunity i feel like the vibe is kind of like blazers skirts everyone dresses up gets cute pics i'm excited this blazer is thrifted isn't it so cute went back and forth between buttoning it and leaving it unbuttoned but i think i just want to leave it unbuttoned and then i'm just wearing all black just black long sleeve as forever 21 and then these they're not jeans they're like kind of like jeggings i guess they're my go-to's they're also forever 21 and then my booties shoot i always forget i i legit always forget and i don't tell you hold on i think sam edelman they're sam edelman circus snakeskin booties i can't believe i just got that i'm pretty sure yeah it says circus on the side so sam edelman circus booties they just add a nice statement i'm feeling it it's a beautiful day it's super sunny i just did simple makeup and i just have these little gold hoops from wild fable from target and then just my taurus everyday necklace i don't think i'm gonna bring a bag i was going to bring this baby but i don't think i need it like i really don't i'm just bringing like my key and my phone and then possibly lip gloss we shall see that's it i'll see you guys there i'll try to get some like montage clips for you that's what i really want to do so yeah I am back. I just walked in the door actually. We're taking off the booties, but they're not hurting my feet. Like these are so comfortable, y'all. So get you some circus by Sam Edelman, okay? It's like four o'clock and there's a bunch of things I gotta do. So I got some goodies. I wanna talk about it a little bit. It was really good. This was like the little brochure for it. Basically we got there, took photos, ate, and then there was like a panel and Q&A from Veronica Aspen, Jessica Klowinski, Christina Carmona, and Emily Lee Mandry. They're all like entrepreneurs in the fashion industry they were all very diverse backgrounds like one of them has a jewelry company one of them makes handbags another one is working with like textile science and like developing new like sustainable fabrics which is really cool and then one of them is more of like a fashion photographer so it was really awesome to like hear their insight and everything there was an apple cider donut wall that was fun it's called like spill the tea so they have like this tea that you could eat like in sample you can eat let me just eat some tea leaves. You could have with sample cups, and then they gave them out at the end. Hot cinnamon sunset. It was really good. Really nice and spicy. And then the Maris store that is run by fashion students, Emporium, they sell these. They're Fatty Sundays chocolate covered pretzels. And these are the birthday cake. They also had chocolate peppermint, which I kind of wanted. That's it. What do I have to do? Um, I got some photos that I want to post. 
I want to edit and upload the video that was supposed to go up yesterday. I need to practice and print my retelling presentation. I have to study French. I want to FaceTime my family because it's been a while since I've talked to them. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> This tea is amazing by the way. It's hot cinnamon sunset. So I thought it was just gonna be like cinnamon, but it's sunset so it has a very sweet sort of aftertaste. It's so good. I have to take off my makeup because it's bothering me. I thought I would talk to you while I do it. I'm currently studying because I have two French tests tomorrow. I have a test in both of my French classes. So I finished studying for the first one because I did studying yesterday, but I'm studying for my second one. I also have to practice my retelling presentation on Tuesday. I haven't practiced yet and like it's not like I need to do a ton of practicing because all of the information is on the slides but I do kind of want to have an idea of what I'm going to say and not just re totally rely on the board like you know what I'm saying and that's my presentation on Red Sack and I'll talk to you guys about that probably tomorrow because I want to show you guys what I did for that you guys don't care about any of this see this is my thing y'all so I edit out like so much of like my vlogs because I end up talking kind of a lot and I personally think no one cares so like stop chatting but I know I like to watch chatty vloggers and I know a lot of people do like that's why I love like Gretchen and Maggie let me know if any of you have any thoughts as to what you prefer so I might leave this all in just as a little test but I just wanted to say the brunch was it was really amazing something I love about the Maris fashion program is there's so many like events and opportunities it makes you feel so inspired like every time I go to a fashion event I leave feeling so inspired and like I want to go film a ton of videos and edit videos and post on Instagram and create more outfits like I want to do all these fashion things because it makes me so happy and it inspires me so much and that may be like cheesy or whatever but it's true like that's why fashion classes are my favorite classes because I go and even though it's class like I still feel like inspired and like I'm working towards something that I love make me feel really happy In the past few days I just been feeling really anxious and that makes me not want to film and edit and that's why it's really hard in college for me to put up videos because I have a lot I'm thinking about and when I'm not feeling great I, like I don't want to do things that I love which like doesn't make sense but I don't even know where I'm going with this but I was almost not gonna vlog today I woke up this morning and I was just feeling very anxious and I was like I am just not mood to vlog like I don't want to do it today and then I was doing my makeup and watching YouTube and I was like you know what no like I'm not gonna let that stop me like I'm gonna vlog and I'm really happy I have been because I think this is gonna be a good vlog I'm gonna keep studying and then I want to talk to you guys about registration good morning y'all it is 7 30. i just registered for classes i know i'm looking real cute maybe i should have gotten ready before i did this i just registered for classes i got all the classes that i wanted except i had an error with registering for one comm class where it won't let me register for an in class one because it says field of study error but it will let me register for the online one but then i'd be taking two online classes and i don't think i really want to do that i think i have to go to the registrar this morning before my 9 30 have them check that out honestly next semester is kind of a bust i'm not taking a single fashion class which is like really upsetting i'm taking a french class two communications classes ethics of food and then intro to media studies because i have nothing else to take because all the fashion classes are filled and they're not really offering that many yeah so that's the deal with that okay y'all this is the fit i think i feel like i'm gonna sweat in this uh the freaking air Black group jeans, vans. I'm off to get my retail presentation bound and to the registrar. And then I have three classes. I feel like this entire vlog has been me in this location. I was gonna get montage clips. I also have my hot cinnamon sunset tea again. I was gonna get montage clips, but I feel like I always show the same montage clips in every vlog and it's kind of boring. So I didn't, but also I hate that like this entire vlog is right here. We'll try to switch it up a little bit, but hi. It is Monday night at 6.04. It's a Monday evening, but it feels like 9 p.m. because it's so dark. I wanted to talk to you guys about my day 
had three classes in between my first class and my second two studied edited this video i had my two classes i had tests in both of them which kind of sucked like i don't think i did very well on them i like mixed up the two french classes and i'm pretty sure i used stuff that was supposed to be for the second test on the first test i'm just worried about this presentation tomorrow which i have to stop i just get so anxious about presentations like the past week i have not stopped thinking about it more than a week honestly but it's gonna be okay like i was calm today and then this past couple hours i haven't been but i'm gonna practice it it's gonna be good i got back i facetimed my dad i went to the gym i just ate and showered and now i'm here tomorrow i'm gonna show you guys more things and not just be talking the entire time but just today is hard because i'm in class a lot of the day it's just boring i'm gonna practice this i was going through it and I realized I made mistakes because last night I was too lazy to really focus and pay attention to what was on the slides. Like I checked it over, but I was really lazy and I got it bound with a plastic cover this morning and it cost me a dollar. And then I realized I had mistakes, but it's fine. It's, I'm just, I'm just going to leave it. Honestly, I hope she doesn't notice. One of them was like a minor spelling error, which I feel like she won't really care about. And then another one I repeated like a big chunk of information because I copied and pasted it onto a different slide that I thought would be more fitting, but I never deleted it from the original slide. So it's just stupid mistakes, but it happens. We're fine. I guess I'll go through this presentation. I did this on Rudsack, the store. It's a Canadian like outerwear company and we have to do background on it and then what merchandise they have, their pricing, their merchandise assortment and pricing, and then the consumer profile. So I talked about the target market, their demographics, and their lifestyles. We had to do like a mood board of our fictional consumer. So like this is kind of the vibe I'm going for. What drives the consumer? So like what are their values and the people that influence them the total retail experience so how is their customer service their strategy for like standing out from all other retailers and then the atmosphere so the interior and the exterior of the store and how the strategy aligns with the target customer and then how they promote themselves through their marketing and emails personal selling their main thing is social media so i talked about all the instagram features they use these are some photos of their instagram we had to do a swat which is strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats of the business and then a direct competitor which is a store package it's also a canadian outerwear company and then i compared their websites and their stores and the outside their differences and then finally i just did a whole summary of why red sack has a competitive advantage and like what their future is going to look like that's that i'm just going to try not to worry about it too too bad i want to just breathe like one step at a time one thing at a time we're going to practice this that's going to be one thing me and tina are going to watch an episode of big little lies tonight i'm going to get up i'm going to hopefully work out shower have breakfast practice do my makeup pick out a cute outfit so i look like a boy you know what I'm saying? Look good, feel good. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I have my presentation at 11. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm really trying to be calm. I'm doing everything this morning to make me feel calmer. Did my makeup. I did natural makeup, but y'all, I love... Do you see my eyes? Do you see that gold? I love this e.l.f. gold eyeshadow. This is the eyeshadow. It's the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. It is gorgeous. I used it on Sunday for the brunch. I loved it. I haven't used it in forever. I'm pretty sure the color is just gold. I've had it for a while, but I love it because this is like pretty natural, but also like really pretty, but you can also build it up and be like really bold with it you know what i mean it is actually the first snowfall today so it snowed it was raining all night and it snowed this morning only a tiny bit of it stuck um like it's not crazy cold out anyway i'm gonna go practice get ready i'll show you my outfit and then we'll go trying to listen to like pump butt music hot shell ray baby hot shell ray and now this comes on so far i've listened to kelly clarkson since you've been gone burning up jonas brothers nobody's perfect hannah montana and tonight tonight hot shell ray like does it get better than this honestly no okay i've waited for the heat to stop for a solid five minutes and it just hasn't so we're just gonna roll with the punches okay i want to start showing you guys my outfit in better lighting over there it's just it's not cute to look at like it's just really not this is the presentation outfit but i have a red sweater with balloon sleeves from Forever 21. Jeans are H&M. Belt is Princess Polly. And then I'm just wearing these Jeffrey Campbell little like rain booties because it is all wet and snowy. The heat blow. Now it's back. Now that I finished, it's back. This is the fit. I'm dancing. No shame. Because honestly, it's helping. So honestly, guys, just dance, just dance, okay? And I'll see you after.
you guys i just got back did my presentation it went well it went pretty good i was just sweating literal bullets it's so gross i'm back now i'm going to chill edit some of this video and then i have another class at 3 30 but that's pretty much it i want to go to the gym but i have my makeup on so i feel like i should just go later so i can use my makeup wisely so yeah i'm back I really want a Starbucks holiday drink right now, like a peppermint white chocolate mocha. I want so bad. I'm trying to hold back. I'm trying to hold back. Trying out this red lentil pasta. I've tried a different one from this brand and it wasn't good. Like the texture wasn't good. Bonza is really good, but I'm going to try it out. I'm also meal prepping veggies in there. Just made some pasta with roasted veggies. I'm excited. Okay, didn't pull the trigger on Starbucks. But still want, but still want a latte. So we're compromising and going to Dunkin'. Okay. She got a scrape, y'all. <coughs> she got a scrape. She's really interrupting my vlog. I'm trying to vlog. We've arrived at home base. I have two separate orders. You still have the um, Choco Mocha Latte. Choco Mocha, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and then a bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant toasted. Just regular latte. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I thought I'd catch it. Okay, we need to talk about how you said Choco Mocha. Stop. Not, Why would a, it, not on the vlog, okay? <laughs> Why would a drink be called Choca Mocha? <laughs> it's Wait, Coca Mocha. Coca? Like, why would you spell it like that? It's it, Choca. <laughs> it literally is Choca, but it's fine. Who would call a drink Choca? You know that's freaking false. Also, where's the H? But there is one. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. No, there's not got the goods but I think I got scammed because it's so light. This is the lightest drink I've ever had in my entire life. I, I mean like Choco Mocha really is like hefty so. Ew. <laughs>